burst productivity by eating the frog. Eating the frog is a powerful tool for straightforward productivity. Anyone with an extensive to-do list may overestimate what they can get done with the limited number of hours they're given in a day. It's a quirk of human psychology, one we are all prone to. How then can one burst productivity by eating the frog? In this tutorial, we'll discuss what it means to eat the frog and how it can make the most of your goals. First, why is this task-busting method called eat the frog? It actually gets its name from a quote by Mark Twain. If it's your job to eat a frog, it's best to do it first thing in the morning. And if it's your job to eat two frogs, it's best to eat the biggest one first. If you feel like you're tugged in a hundred different directions, overwhelmed with how many tasks your day-to-day -day presents you, the eat the frog method could be your key to shifting your productivity into high gear. The technique is simple. Step 1. Identify your frog. Your frog is going to be the hardest, most important task you have at hand for the day. You only need to eat one frog, remember. As Twain says, if it's your job to eat two frogs, it's best to eat the biggest one first. Narrow your task list down to the biggest hurdle. Step 2. Eat it. Before any other task, take care of the one you have identified as the frog. Why is this important? Taking care of your biggest task prevents you from putting it off as the day goes on. You'll feel a great sense of satisfaction once you have your most difficult to-do list item out of the way. Once it's done, it's done. This leaves you free to handle everything else that needs your attention that day. Step 3. Repeat it. Small steps taken consistently will always add up to big accomplishments. They say it takes 21 days for something to become a habit. If you want to make a habit of handling your toughest task first, try repeating this productivity busting method for 21 days. You may be asking yourself why this method works. What will keep you from simply kicking back after you finish the hardest task and not address any others? As we've discussed, it is a human reaction to overestimate what you can get done in a day. Productivity systems usually end up making us feel like we're constantly behind, unable to properly keep up with the demands of our everyday workflows. That sense of failure will leave many people feeling down. They feel as if they are struggling to accomplish everything that they need to. It can cause feelings of anxiety, depression, or simply of being overwhelmed. When we feel bad, we're more likely to avoid what's making us feel that way. Instead, we seek out the things that will boost our mood in the moment. This may be social media, television or hobbies. In short, any way that we can possibly find to procrastinate. Eat the frog forces you to focus on less, even when you know you're capable of doing more. Think about a time when you have completed a difficult, arduous task. It feels good. It will fill you with a sense of accomplishment and relief. That is where the eat the frog method works. Any day that you eat the frog is off to a positive, productive start. When you eat the frog, you're making progress on something meaningful every day. Multiple studies have shown that progress is a crucial motivator of happiness and engagement at work. People feel good when they follow through on things they intended to do. When this happens, it becomes easier to handle these tasks. Because you then feel better, you'll be more motivated to complete the rest of the items on your to-do list rather than sit back and call it a day. Eating the frog is a deceptively simple method for managing productivity and avoiding procrastination. If you struggle with prioritizing or managing your to-do lists, try to remember that if your job is to eat a frog, eat the biggest one first. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.